What's going on, Genius Nation? It's your man, Dr. Will, and you guys know the deal. Let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. Even if you're watching the replay, let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. I'm here in the beautiful city of Phoenix, Arizona, where God vacations. So wherever you are, let me know what city, what state, what country you're chiming in from. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button so you know when we drop brand new videos. So guys, this morning, I wanna to talk to you about a concept that, <coughs> that my coach taught me years ago um, that I've implemented into my life and I share it with all of my clients and it's called Focus, Flex, and free days, focus, flex, and free days. And this is a concept where you begin to um, create a life, create a life where your life is divided into these focus, flex, and free days. And um, just let me tell you, this is, this is a concept that you work towards. So I'm gonna share it with you and if it sounds good to you, then you begin to implement it in your life um, as you can. So this is not something you can do overnight, but this is something you can do over time. And so the concept is you get 365 days a year. You get 365 days a year. And then you ask yourself in that year, how much money do I want to earn? How much money do I want to earn? And so let's just for numbers sake, let's just say 100K. I wanna earn 100K in those 365 days. So then you ask yourself, how many days do I think it will take me to earn that amount? How many days will it take for me to earn that amount? So if you get 365 days, how many days will it take you to earn that amount. So in my arena, I'm a professional speaker. Um, I average, um, on average, I earn about 10K a keynote. So if I wanted to earn, <clears throat> if I wanted to earn 100K, that would be about 10 keynotes. So out of the 365 days, how long would it take me to secure 10 dates 10 keynotes for 10K. So that would be what we call our focus days, right? Our focus days are the days that we're using to work toward a, a particular goal. So let's say if I said I had a goal of earning 100K, I had another goal of writing two books, in a year, I had a goal of writing two books in a year. How much time would it take me to do that, right? How much time, how much work days would it take me to do that? That's gonna be my focus days. So if it takes 10, if it takes 10 keynotes to reach the 100K in revenue, how many days do I have to work to secure that? So let's say um, I'm going to say 100 days, maybe 100 days. So the work that I'm talking about is um, I'm reaching out to potential clients, um, maybe doing a little networking, uh, maybe going to a few events. So all under the guise that I'm working to secure my goal. So that may take me 100 days. To write two books, it may take me 180 days, right? It may take me 180 days. So using, you know, three month intervals. So if I wrote every day for three months or, you know, divided it up to write, um, Whatever it took me to write 90 days, I may take, you know, 100 days to write 90 days worth of content. You guys get the, the idea here, right? 
So then my flex days, my flex days may be days, for instance, um, I'm traveling. So that would be a flex day. That wouldn't be a work day per se, but it'll be a travel day. Um, it may be a day where I'm going to um, an event. So I'm not necessarily working on getting the 10 uh, speaking gigs. I may not necessarily be writing. Um, I, I may necess not necessarily be working on um, some particular content or whatever, but it's a flex day. It's a flex day. So, you know, and then you have free days. Your free days are where you absolutely do what you like. That could be doing nothing. That could be going to the beach. That could be hanging out with your family. And so the essence is about how many, how many free days, how many flex days and how many uh, focus days do you want? So for me right now, my mix is about 200 work days, 100 free days and 65, um, 65 flex days. That's kind of where my schedule is right now. So when you do this, guys, it's all about being efficient. So when it is my focus day, I focus. I'm not thinking about being at the beach. I'm not thinking <clears throat> about being in Bermuda. I'm not thinking about not working. On my 200 days of work, I'm actually working. And then when I go to my free days, I'm actually free. I'm not thinking about work. I'm actually free. And when you begin to uh, create this type of lifestyle, you'll begin to see how much more efficient you are in life. For me, you know, my setup right now is I work about six weeks. I work about six weeks straight and then I take a vacation, work six weeks straight, take a vacation, six weeks straight, take a vacation take a vacation. So for me, I always see the light at the end of the tunnel. I always see the light at the end of the tunnel. A lot of people work, but then they don't see the light at the end of the tunnel and they burn out. But when you learn how to manage your life like this, you always know where your refreshers are coming from. So I can look at my calendar and say, boom, I got a refresher coming. So that energizes me to finish off this work because at the end of this work, I know I have a refresher coming. I know I have a vacation coming. So this is a concept, guys, that um, you implement not overnight, but over time. So you just look at your year. You look at your year, especially for those of you that are full-time entrepreneurs, um, full-time business owners. Um, what does that look like for you? Um, for you that um, work a traditional nine to five, you can do that as well because you get um, paid time off. You get your PTO and all that type of stuff. So you can start to look at your life that way as well. You can say for yourself, um, you know, um, I get this amount of vacation days. I get this amount of holidays off. I get this amount of PTO. So you can look at your schedule and do the same thing. You already know, you know, Monday through Friday, those are going to be my focus days. I got to go into work. Um, you may say uh, Saturday is going to be a flex day for me doing the laundry, whatever, you know, I'm whatever. I always tell people don't do laundry and stuff like that on your if you have a if you have a traditional nine to five, I always suggest to people don't waste your weekend doing household chores. Don't waste your weekend doing household chores. Do household chores during the week. Right. Just take a couple of hours throughout the week and knock out the laundry, wash one day, fold the next or something like that. But don't don't waste your weekend doing laundry and all that type of stuff. Do that throughout the week. You know, just chop it up in time, 30 minutes here, 45 minutes here, do some dusting and all that kind of stuff. But please don't waste your weekends doing household chores. Um, but you can look and say, okay, um, uh, Saturday is going to be a flex day for me. And then maybe that's the day I run errands that I can't run through the week. And then Sunday is going to be my free day, right? Where I just hang out with the family, where I just kind of hang out by the pool, um, we go for a walk or whatever. So you can, this concept will work in whatever situation you're in. You just got to be intentional about it. You just got to be intentional about it. So this has been a concept that I've used over, oh man, about 10 years now 
that has really become beneficial for me. It allows me to be efficient and effective and allows me to get a lot of work done because once again, I'm always in the right frame of mind because I know, hey, this is my focus day. So I got to knock out this work so I can achieve all my goals, so I can get my finance goals, so I can get my um, uh, uh, creativity goals done. And then I know I have my time where I can just chill. So think about it, guys. Kind of mill around with it, play around with it. How many focus days do you need to accomplish all your goals in the year? How many flex days will you have in the year? And then how many free days do you want? And so I would suggest that as much as possible, especially if you're an entrepreneur, business owner, start with free days. How many free days do I want? How many free days do I want? You may say, I want 50 free days out of the year. I want 75 free days out the year. Um, for me, um, you know, for the last 10 years, for me, I would take, you know, um, the whole month of November off, right? So that's 30 days right there. I would take the whole month of November. So November would be a free month for me because in our family, we had just so many different activities going on in the month of November that earlier on, I would get uh, frustrated because I'm trying to work, but boom, somebody's birthday, anniversary, daughter's birthday, brother's birthday, sister-in-law's birthday. You know, there was so much Thanksgiving going on, all that kind of stuff. I said, you know what? I'm not going to fight against it. I'm not going to fight against it. I'm just going to make November a free month. That's going to be 30 days of freedom. And uh, I started enjoying it more. But also what it made me do is make sure that moving up into um, November, I had everything that I needed to have completed. It helped me automate my business a lot more. It helped me get better at delegation. It helped me get better at communication. I had to communicate with the team, let them know I'm going to be off the grid. Um, this is what needs to happen. Da, 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 da. This is how you happen. Uh, this is how you deal with this emergency or whatever. And uh, over the years, um, it's worked out. Never had any major issues or anything like that. But everyone knew because I was able to communicate it to everybody that, hey, November, I'm going to be off the grid. I'm going to be off the, the radar. So this is what needs to happen. Any projects, anything you need, anything I need to sign. So it made our whole team more efficient. And so this is what I teach to my team. This is what I teach to my clients as well. Focus, flex, and free days um, to live a more efficient and um, more uh, enjoyable life. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. As I always say, go out there and dominate, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow at 6 a.m.